Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, August the 10th. And I have two of my very best friends with us today. And I say that sincerely. Kit and Kathy Salter. Good to we have you here. love being back. Hi, it's, Bob. It's, it's, Good to see you. Good to see you. Paul. Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul, sorry, yeah. For being best friends, we got to yeah, get the name yeah, right there, great, right? Great. It's been a long time since you've been here. It has. It's it been is. a long time no since way. you've been here. But uh, you're both of you are excited because you're here to tell us about the Osher Saturday Morning Book Talks, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. Kit has put together this little bookmark that's got everything on it. All the talks are on there, right? This bookmark is created by uh, Yolanda Choli oh, I know Yolanda. of Compass Flower oh, yeah. Press. And, but in fact, what it is built around is 11 months of the year. Osher hosts a Saturday morning book talk up at their Osher Center mm -hmm. on Hillcrest Drive off of Old 63. And we have such a quartet for our final months of the year, we thought, let's get on Pepperland and talk <laughs> about this quartet. Pepperland, okay. So we'll do it. All right, so what have you got coming up here? But before uh, what's what? coming up, Saturday we had Steve Weinberg. 66 people came up to hear Steve talk about telling lives. Isn't that a good title? Yeah, yeah. Telling lives, the perils of writing biographies. Yeah. Good discussion. Oh, telling lies. Telling lies. lies. Yes. Yes. Telling lies. It's such a clever, <laughs> clever thing. He is currently working on a biography of Gary Trudeau, uh -huh. who has written for 40 years, I think, the the Doonesbury yeah. comic strip. Yeah. And uh, he's it. It was a, a wonderful session because Steve fills an hour with you think i've heard everything steve might want to talk about but steve has such an active mind so many stories so yeah. many bits of good advice that people who come to the saturday morning book talks are people in book clubs people who are writers people who are editors people who like free coffee and want pastry oh yeah that's right because you and, have the, the coffee and pastry right and so we don't they don't come just to hear somebody tell the story of what's in a book they've written. They mm -hmm. come to hear about the art of writing, the art of publishing, the art of getting a, uh, you know, someone to be your agent. Mm -hmm. And Steve had a lot of good tips for, for the right. group and because the he's done it the hard way. I right. mean, he's done it by getting an agent and publishing major books, major biographies. And Steve had uh, a stroke two months ago, and he has He's come rebounded back from that. Well. So this was great. He was there with yeah, good energy. Good. It was a great hour. So now on October 3rd, is that the next one you have coming no, up? No, we have one September. on September 12th. September 12th. We have, okay. we have Bettyville. George Hodgson is this Harper Hodgman. publisher uh -huh. who came back from Manhattan to care for his mother in Paris, Missouri. A uh, town of 1,400. Let's see, Manhattan, more than 1,400. Paris, <laughs> Missouri, 1,400. Let's see. And he has now stayed for longer than a year. Betty of Bettyville just died uh, last Sunday, week ago, or a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and happily, he's got a teaching class at Mizzou, so we think he'll stay in the area. And on September 12th, he'll talk about Bettyville, which is the first of our books in our book series, that's been on the New York Times bestseller list. Okay. So we've got the author talking about coming back to a small town mm -hmm. to care for your mom. Okay, that's on September 12th. Yeah. Exactly. Then, October 3rd? That October is Petch. 3rd is Petch Peden. Mm -hmm. And Petch, as she's known to friends in the community here, uh, had an amazing career as a translator translating works in Spanish mm -hmm. into English. And Petch uh, won the Penn Mannheim 
award for translation, which is given periodically. It's an international award yeah. to major translators. So, so that will be October 3rd. That is October. Okay, and, we need to move along, Kathy, because we're going to run up. And we want to get all in. remind you that the reason these things work so well is this in the, under the umbrella of Osher, which is where you come as learners and leave as friends. Yeah. Because the dynamics of, of the crowd are so comfortable. These are people of serious maturity. They're older than 45, uh, older than 50 maturity. generally. <laughs> and uh, very interested. Okay. They, and there's no readers. test. They ask questions and we get it. And then on you know, October, we have oh, no, November Pet Feeden. And November 7th, we have somebody here at this yeah, table. Yeah, Kathy Salter, notes <laughs> yes. from Bloom, Bloomerang, Boomerang Creek. <laughs> yes. Not Boomerang. You're thinking Boomerang. of Doonesbury. <laughs> yeah. Boomerang yeah. Creek. Yeah, right. no. New perspectives. And uh, so you'll be... So this is my second book. Yeah. And it's, it's a book of collected essays that are about thoughts over the last 10 years since we returned to, to Missouri and began living at Boomerang Creek. Then you got, oh, December 5th, you have To Walter. wrap the year up, we have a special book being created by Walter Bargan, who's the past uh, poet laureate. Well, he's been on Missouri. here several yeah, times. Walter's yeah, Walter's good news. Yeah. We call him Leroy. He <laughs> works better with the name Leroy, we find. <laughs> Just a private uh, <laughs> And he's got uh, a co-author, uh, Claude uh, Wolfshull, uh, Clarence, Clarence Wolfshull, and they're doing a new book of poetry that will be published and available on December 5th for our sort of holiday issue. Oh, that's Two nice. poets talking about their work and the book will be available for sale and signing. Clarence, All is, part a, of this. Clarence is a poet and a publisher based in Fulton. Yeah. So they've had a collaboration in pr prior works that, right. that have been And, and Walter is such a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Walter he is, is. He is, he is, he is a really nice He looks like John Denver. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. We'll tell him. We'll tell him. Oh, yeah. Well, we've told him that, too. So, and then, is that it for the year? That's not it. That's, or your conversations happen afterwards, happen with coffee beforehand. It's part of the Osher fluorescence. Okay. We have a new head. Uh, Kristen Milliken is the new head of Osher. And uh, you should know, Osher at Mizzou will get you onto the website. Classes begin September 8th for the fall term. Okay. And a simple phone number, 882-8289, will answer questions too. And this is also part of the Book Talks world. And fall okay. sessions Good. begin in August okay. at, at Osher. So they it, begin in September, actually. I'm September sorry. 8th. Yeah. Not until September, September 8th? No. That's oh. actually what the day I just said, uh, okay. 20 September seconds ago. Eight. Okay, Funny September about that. Yeah, yeah. Where okay. is she? We're just a little bit, wait. <laughs> We're having Kathy and I are just a little bit older. Oh, no, wait a minute. He's older. I'm He's way older. older. Yeah. In two days, I'll be 77, God willing. Well, yeah. congratulations and happy birthday to you. Kathy and I will both be 70 uh, <laughs> later this year. October. October, well, right. Well. We're out of time for today. Thank you both so much for coming you. by. It's always fun Pleasure Paul. always having you here. Uh, tomorrow, Council for Drug-Free Youth, our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA, our floor director, Lowell Thomas, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Uh, if there's something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.